hi guys welcome back to my channel so today how are you all doing and welcome 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 if you are new please subscribe and like this video and comment down below i'm available to answer everyone's comments so today i'm going to be doing this little tutorial or what you need to look out or what you shouldn't leave out when you're uploading your video as a youtuber and um what are the end screens how to add them on your videos how to end how to add an i card on your video so i'm going to be showing a lot of things that you need to pay attention to when you're uploading your video on your channel and also how to upload tags and what are tags yes so let's get to it let's get started guys let's not waste any further time or yeah. so the first thing that you need to do it's obviously to go on your youtube so it's a bit slow guys i don't know what's wrong with my network and then on your youtube we all upload on youtube studio so you go to upload video or you can go to create so for me i usually drag and drop i'm just a drag and drop baby yeah but like if you want to upload it's up to you you can just like upload the video from there mm. i'm going to be doing this tutorial with um my intro video right yeah so obviously or definitely the first thing that you need to do it's your title your title is very important and if your title is um is it's a question you're answering a question you need to add a how to when you're uploading your video what you have is your title everyone knows about a title and then we have this baby here which is um, a description Guys, a description is very important because a description, that's where you have to explain and write everything that you are talking about on your video. Because that's when YouTube is able to tell Google and the search history that like this person is talking about this on her or his video. So YouTube is able to take all what you're talking about and put it out there when people are searching for your video for example what other people usually do on their description is that like maybe they can have a hashtag and like another thing on your since i have said that like on your description box you have to include what you are talking about on your videos for me i usually start by greeting people and then i start explaining that like this video is going to be about an, how to make an introduction for your videos and then you further explain what you're going to include or further explain what you are talking about as you are filming yourself on your video right and here on your description box one another thing that you need to add you can add the links or the name of the background music that you are using on your video it's important to add music there because most of the music that we are using it's not our own music we are using someone uh, someone's else music so you need to mention that on your description box that you, you are not using your own music but you are using someone's else music another thing you can add your link so people can subscribe to your channel you can also maybe add any links of your videos that you have that you want people to watch you can also add your links to your social media handles and also you can add your frequently asked questions usually people would ask me what camera are you using what ethnicity are you so you can add that too or you can add your age people usually ask you know those frequently asked questions that are about yourself yes so you can also add that if you want it's not a must for me i kind of like don't see the need to edit because i have a video about myself which is a q a about myself guys the description box it's where you need to add information especially for us small youtubers because we don't have that huge audience on our on our channel you know so like 
to help uh youtube to help us you know we need to tell youtube what is our video about so it will be easy for youtube to put our videos out there when someone is at, is searching for how to make an introduction sometimes if maybe you are talking about apps or anything or maybe about like if you are a natural hair person if you are talking about what products are you using you can add that on the description box that these are the products that you use you can even mention where you have bought those products another thing that we have here is a thumbnail a thumbnail it's very important so as it's important you can choose a thumbnail from your video you are given an option to choose here a thumbnail from your video but what I prefer it's to is to upload my own thumbnail it's free to make a thumbnail if you don't have an, a thumbnail you can check out my video on what apps you can use to make a thumbnail for free i'm just going to put an i card here for the link of that video of the free apps for thumbnails so let's come to playlist let's say you have a um, channel that focuses on different niche you not like only uh having videos that are only one niche or maybe only talking about one thing what is important is that like if you have playlist you can put your video you, you can even make your, your 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 a playlist of your videos so every time you upload your video is automatically added on that playlist so this is where you select that so for me i have a playlist that says all of my videos so that's where i every day where i add my videos on before so like that thing it saves time and job because you don't have to go back and add your video on the playlist but like you already added it before it's uploaded audience most small youtubers struggle with audience what is audience it's comments you know some sometimes if you're uploading a video for the first time your comments won't be opened it's because you didn't specify either your video is made for kids or it's not made for kids so youtube is very sensitive it usually uh wants people who are having a youtube with their kids to usually turn off the comments right because you know out there there are people who are not like um nice to other people so yeah so what is very important is that like you need to specify that your video is is not made for kids it's made for adults so you can just go to no it is not made for kids which means your comments will be opened but if you go to yes it is made for kids youtube won't open the comments for you because it's trying to protect your kids or it's trying to protect you and your kid yeah so it feathers has um a restriction if maybe you already chose that your video is made for kids you can restrict uh, your video that your video can be viewed by people who are over 18 18 years so for me all my videos are not in restricted so make sure you also choose the don't restrict but it's up to you you know what you post about on your channel so there's this more option so we had we have this paid uh promotion sometimes you have a company that would want to sponsor you by uh, from them wanting you to advertise their products so you can also mention that it's important that like you mention that to people that like this is a sponsored video let's say let's come to tags tags are very important this is the most important part of uh, your video and SEOs and tags. Why are tags important? Tags are important because sometimes when people are searching for information on YouTube, they do not type the whole thing as in like how to make an intro for your YouTube channel, but someone can type like how to make an intro. So if I have that on my tags, how to make an intro, my video will appear to that person. That, that person doesn't need to type the whole title of my video, but if I have that little information or that shortened search title of that person on my tags, it's going to appear on the search history of that person. 
so that's why tags are important i can also put on my tags uh introduction no sorry i can put like intro for a video i can put like how to make an intro i can put how to make an intro for youtube how to make an intro for a video or youtube you know you can like play around to people's mind you can play around to what people are thinking or what people are searching for so like your video would appear so like if you don't have tags and you only have to make an intro and someone searches for intro for youtube and then you don't have that on your tags will your video appear like chances are less than 50 percent that your video will appear on that person's search history because on your tags your tags are not searchable or your video is not searchable because you only have that on your title so remember your title should correspond with your your description and your tags that helps people to find your video easily and that also makes things easy you are helping youtube to help you because it's easy for youtube to recommend your video or your video to show up when you are searching when people are searching for the title of your video okay i don't know why i can't add an end screen but let me show you guys how to add a card a card is that thing that's going to appear here i'm going to mention that again it's going to appear here so how do you add a card on your videos so let's say i want to add a card here you can just go to say add card so your card it can you can promote a video or you can promote another person's channel or you can do a poll maybe your video was about like uh, guys do you go with this product or do you, maybe you were doing a review do you go with this product or this product so you can add a poll so people can vote or you can just add a link of any website that you want people to click to yeah but like what i prefer for a poll you can just uh, mostly add the video that you want people to go and check or people if they need to go and check maybe you did something on the previous video maybe you had a part one and then you're doing a part two so you can add uh, a video of that part then you can choose from your uploads with, oh okay like this is the free this is the video that talks about free apps for thumbnails and then you can add that card to your to your video because i already talked about like a thumbnail so if i want you guys to go back and check how or what are the apps that you can use to make a thumbnail i can just put the icon so it will be easy for you to find that video instead of like going to my channel and checking and checking and wasting time you know so it's easy if you put an ad card at the top of our videos when you are done adding your ad card you can just like return to youtube studio when you are uploading your video you have an option of uploading your video to be private private which means yeah only the people that you want to watch your video they can watch but the thing is about a private video is that like when people are watching your video while it's private it's like you don't gain that watch hour or that time people have watched your video while it's private that's what i have heard so for public you can add your video to premiere you can premiere at any time and then another thing that you can do is schedule you can schedule your video like to to be automatically uploaded to youtube at any time that you want let's say maybe you 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 do your videos in bulk i usually do my videos in bulk so when i upload them i upload them same time but with different schedule or time yeah so that's what you can do as a small youtuber so guys uh if you there's a difference between setting your video as a prima and also scheduling your video so for me i just like to just schedule them yeah but big youtubers they do do they do they set your videos as a premiere and it's important to check if your video does do kids appear in your videos or looking for overall content guidance so you must make sure that you have already selected that your video it's not for kids but if it's your kids and your kids are appearing on the video it's up to you, you can send the comments off or you can just let them off it's just a personal choice that you want so that's what is important guys i hope like you enjoyed this video and it, it was very informational for all of you all this these small youtubers that are here watching this video 
you can still do it you can still grow you can still be that person who is growing in youtube you will be monetized one day even if like the growth is very slow but this is me saying that like it's possible you can do it let's keep pushing and grinding